Welcome to another exciting hacking video. Today, we are going to dive into the mysterious and powerful world of Linux commands. Are you ready to take your hacker skills to the next level? In this video, I will introduce you to over 40 essential Linux commands that every hacker should know. Linux is the operating system of choice for many hackers due to its flexibility and powerful command line interface. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced hacker, understanding these commands is crucial for your success in the realm of hacking. Throughout this video, I will guide you through the basics of Linux commands, starting from the most fundamental ones to the more advanced techniques. You will learn how to navigate through the file system, manipulate files and directories, manage processes, control user permissions, and much more. Let's start with simple one and important one. BAM. This command is used to access manual pages for all Linux commands. It is useful to learn more about the syntax, options, and usage of any command. You can use various options with this command, such as K to search for a keyword, F to display the name and description of a command, etc. For example, man ls will display the manual page for the ls command. Certainly, understanding the explanations and examples I provide is crucial for effectively using all Linux commands covered. I can't provide exhaustive details for each command. Therefore, it's essential to read and familiarize yourself with the full command descriptions and examples for comprehensive utilization with this command. ls This command is used to list the files and directories in the current or specified directory. You can use various options with this command, such as L to display detailed information, A to display hidden files, H to display human readable sizes, etc. For example, LSLAH will list all the files and directories in the current directory with detailed information and human readable sizes. PWD This command is used to print the current working directory. It is useful to know where you are in the file system hierarchy. For example, PWD will print your current directory. CD this command is used to change the current working directory. You can use various arguments with this command, such as a relative or absolute path, three dot to go to the parent directory, a tilde symbol to go to the home directory, etc. For example, cd varlog will change the current working directory to varlog. mkdr this command is used to create new directories. You can use various options with this command, such as p to create parent directories if they do not exist, m to set the permissions of the new directory, etc. For example, mkdr pm755 tmp joe will create a new directory named joe in tmp with permissions 755 and also create tmp if it does not exist. MV. This command is used to move or rename files and directories. You can use various options with this command, such as I to prompt before overriding, N to not override existing files, B to display verbose output, etc. For example, MV I Joe John will rename Joe to John and prompt before overriding if John already exists. CP. This command is used to copy files and directories. You can use various options with this command, such as I, N, B as in MB, R to copy recursively, A to preserve attributes, etc. For example, CP, R, A, Home User, Documents. Home User, Backup will copy the documents directory and its contents to the backup directory and preserve the attributes. RM. This command is used to delete files and directories. You can use various options with this command, such as I, V as in MB, R as in CP, F to force deletion without prompting, etc. For example, RM, R, F, T, M, P, Joe will delete the Joe directory and its contents without prompting. RMDR Unlike RM, RMDR is specifically designed for removing empty directories. It ensures that the directory is devoid of any files or subdirectories before deletion. Touch This command is used to create empty files or update the timestamps of existing files. You can use various options with this command, such as a to change only the access time, M to change only the modification time, T to specify the time, etc. For example, 
touch t 2024 Joe. We'll create or update Joe with the timestamp of January 1st, 2024, 12 o'clock. LN. This command is used to create links to files or directories. You can use various options with this command, such as S to create symbolic links, F to force creation by removing existing links, B to display verbose output, etc. For example, LNS file link. We'll create a symbolic link named link that points to file. More. More is a pager program that displays text one screen at a time, allowing users to navigate through large files without overwhelming the terminal. It provides a simple and user-friendly interface for viewing file content. For example, to use more to view a file, simply type more file name. Nano or a simple text editor. Nano is a user-friendly text editor that operates in the terminal. It provides basic editing capabilities, making it accessible for beginners. With straightforward key combinations, users can create and edit text files directly from the command line. Vim or a powerful text editor. Vim is a highly configurable and powerful text editor widely used by programmers and system administrators. It offers various modes for editing, navigation, and command execution, providing efficiency and flexibility in text manipulation. File File identifies the type of a file based on its content and provides information about its format. This is useful for determining file compatibility and troubleshooting. To use file, just type File, your file name. Cat. This command is used to display the contents of files or concatenate multiple files. You can use various options with this command, such as N to number the output lines, B to number the non-blank output lines, S to suppress repeated empty output lines, etc. For example, cat n file file1. We'll display the contents of file in file1 with line numbers. Echo. This command is used to print any text that follows the command. It is useful to display messages, variables, or command outputs. You can use various options with this command, such as N to suppress the new line at the end, E to enable interpretation of backslash escapes, etc. For example, echo, E text goes here. We'll print text goes here. Less. This command is used to display paged outputs in the terminal. It is useful to view large files or outputs that do not fit in one screen. You can use various commands within less, such as to search for a pattern, Q to quit, H to display help, etc. For example, less file. We'll display the contents of file in a paged manner. Uname. This command is used to get basic information about the operating system, and the hardware. You can use various options with this command, such as a to display all information, S to display the kernel name, R to display the kernel release, etc. For example, uname A. We'll display something like this. Alias. The alias command allows users to create shorthand or custom names for longer commands. This is particularly useful for frequently used, complex commands, or for personalizing the command line experience. For example, to create an alias named list for the ls l command, use alias list equals ls l. Now, whenever you type list, it will execute ls l. For instance, if you want to create an alias named update for updating the system, use alias update equals sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade. After defining this alias, running update in the terminal will execute the specified update command. Removing an alias to remove an alias, you can use the unalias command. For instance, to remove the list alias created earlier use. Unalias list. Who am I? This command is used to get the active username. It is useful to know who you are logged in as. For example, who am I? We'll print something like user. Who? 
The Who command in Linux is a command line utility that allows you to see information about the users who are currently logged into the system. It can show you the login name, terminal name, login time, remote host name, and other details of each user. You can use various options with the Who command to customize the output, such as you can use it to show all information, including system login processes, dead processes, last system clock change, etc. Tar. This command is used to extract and compress files in Linux. It is useful to create or extract compressed archive files such as tar, tar, gz, tar, bz2, etc. You can use various options with this command, such as x to extract, c to create, b to display verbose output, f to specify the file name, z to use gzip compression, j to use bzip2 compression, etc. For example, tar xbf file.tar.gz will extract the file.tar.gz archive file. Rep. This command is used to search for a string within an output or a file. It is useful to filter the output or the file based on a pattern. You can use various options with this command, such as I to ignore case, V to invert the match, C to count the matching lines, N to display the line numbers, R to search recursively, etc. For example, Rep. I error varlog syslog will search for the word error in the varlog syslog file. Head. This command is used to return the specified number of lines from the top of an output or a file. It is useful to view the beginning of an output or a file. You can use various options with this command, such as N to specify the number of lines, C to specify the number of bytes, Q to suppress the file name, etc. For example, head in 10 file will display the first 10 lines of file. Tail. This command is used to return the specified number of lines from the bottom of an output or a file. It is useful to view the end of an output or a file. You can use various options with this command, such as N, C, Q as in head, F to follow the file as it grows, etc. For example, tail F file will display the last 10 lines of file and keep updating as new lines are added. WC. WC counts the number of lines, words, and characters in a file. It provides a comprehensive overview of the file's textual content. Find or search for files and directories. Find is a versatile command for locating files and directories based on specified criteria. It supports complex search queries, making it a powerful tool for system administrators and users managing a vast amount of data. Diff. This command is used to find the difference between two files. It is useful to compare two files and see what has changed. You can use various options with this command, such as I to ignore case, W to ignore whitespace, Y to display side by side, U to display unified output, etc. For example, diff U file file 1 will display the difference between file 1 and file 2 in a unified format. TS the ps command provides a snapshot of currently running processes. With various options, users can view detailed information about CPU and memory usage, making it a valuable tool for monitoring system activity. And psox. psox provides a detailed overview of all running processes on the system. It includes information about the process ID, resource usage, and command details. Kill. Kill is used to send signals to processes, allowing users to terminate or manipulate their behavior. It's particularly useful for ending unresponsive or unwanted processes. You can use Kill All to terminate processes by name rather than by process ID. It simplifies the process of ending multiple instances of a specific program. Kel the cal command in Linux is used to display a calendar in the terminal. You can use various options with this command to customize the output, such as You can specify the month and year to display the calendar for that month and year. For example, Cal 1 2024 will display the calendar for January 2024. You can use Y option to display the calendar for the entire year. For example, Cal Y will display the calendar for the current year. The incal command in Linux is similar to the cal command, but it displays the calendar in a different layout, with the week starting from Monday instead of Sunday. You can use the same options as the cal command with the ncal command. chmod 
The chmod command in Kali Linux is used to change the permissions of files and directories. Permissions are a way of controlling who can access, modify, or execute files and directories. There are three types of permissions, read, write, and execute. There are also three types of users, the owner, the group, and others. The chmod command allows you to specify which permissions you want to grant or revoke for each type of user. The chmod command has two modes of operation, symbolic and numeric. In the symbolic mode, you use letters and symbols to represent the permissions and the users. For example, chmod u plus x file means to add the execute permission to the user who owns file. In the numeric mode, you use numbers to represent the permissions and the users. Each permission has a corresponding number, read is 4, write is 2, and execute is 1. You add the numbers to get the total permission value for each type of user. For example, chmod755 file means to set the permissions to 755 for file, which means the owner has read, write, and execute permissions, the group has read and execute permissions, and others have read and execute permissions. DF The DF command in Linux is a command line utility that allows you to check the disk space usage of your file systems. It shows you the total size, use space, available space, and percentage of usage for each file system that is mounted on your system. You can use various options with the df command to customize the output, such as h or human readable. This option makes the output easier to read by using units like k, m, g, etc. For example, df h will, will show the disk space in human readable format. History The history command in Linux is a command line utility that allows you to see and manipulate the list of commands that you have entered in the terminal. It can help you to recall, repeat, edit, or delete previous commands. Some of the features and options of the history command are. It allows you to re-execute a command by using an exclamation point followed by the command number, the command string, or a special character. For example, exclamation point 1 will re-execute the first command. Exclamation point ls will re-execute the last command that starts with ls. And 2 exclamation point will re-execute the last command. It allows you to delete a command from the history list by using the D option followed by the command number. For example, history D1 will delete the first command from the history list. It allows you to save the history list to a file by using the W option followed by the file name. For example, history W history.txt will save the history list to history.txt. It allows you to clear the entire history list by using the C option. For example, history C will clear the history list. Clear. This command is used to clear the terminal screen. It is useful to have a clean and uncluttered terminal. For example, clear will clear the terminal screen. Thank you for joining us on this journey through over 40 essential Linux commands for hackers. We hope this comprehensive guide empowers you in your exploration of the Linux command line. Remember, knowledge is the key to unlocking the full potential of your digital endeavors. In the next video we will make networking Linux command for hacker. So, don't forget to hit that like button, share with your fellow enthusiasts, and subscribe for more insightful content. Keep honing your skills, stay curious, and happy hacking!